thank you father because you are god and god you will remain god you will be forever and ever amen brethren thank you for joining me once again my name is Ines Rose Mantuka, and we are the praying mother so today i have a topic before us the topic that says desire through faith and fear brethren this is another new year year 2023 22 is gone the year we will never see again now in this 2023 what is your desire what are you asking god for what are you looking unto god for it is time we talk about it i know it's in within you you will not say it to anyone i will not say mine to anyone but have this in mind but let us have a good motive of what we are asking from god hallelujah this topic says desire through faith and fear so let's talk about desire you know everyone has we all we have different desires my own desire is different from yours and yours is different from mine i know what i need from god i know what i am looking up to god for hallelujah so and i pray that god will grant each of each and every one desire for a desire in the precious name of jesus amen now let's talk about fear what is that you have been looking on to god for what is that that you have been looking on to god that god has not heard your voice what is that that you have been stretching your hand to catch that seems that that place is very far from you but i pray that as long as you have faith not fear because fear the bible says is a torment fear we only destroy fear we only condemn fear we only you know make out all your desire but when you have faith those things that you are seeing those things that you think that they are not there yet and that is faith faith is not what you hold in your hand faith is those things that you want god to do for you Faith is those things that you are seeing, but your hand is not reaching. Faith is those, is those dreams that you had for many years. It seems that those dreams that are not, they are not coming. But the Bible says in the book of Habakkuk, he said, wait for it. He said, wait for it, it will surely come. Faith is those things that you are seeing. But that is why the Bible said, have faith. He said, without faith, no one, no man can please God. Brethren, you will not be that one that will not please God. Have a strong faith this year, 2023. Those dreams that you had in 2022, let your faith more stronger than your, 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 your asking. Because sometimes our asking is more stronger than our faith and things doesn't work like that. Let your faith more stronger. Then you will walk towards it. As you are walk, walking towards it, you will see that God is lifting you up. Let's go to the Bible. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 16, verse 1 and 3, He says, we may make our plan, but God has the last word. In another word, God has the final say. And you may think everything you want to do right, but the Lord judge your motives. So brethren, it depends on your motive, just as I said before. It depends on our motive. What is your motive for doing those things? The plan that you have, it depends on your motive. Because God will not bless any plan that is that he knows is an evil. Or a plan to kill, a plan to destroy, God will not bless that. So it depends on your own motive. Let your motive be right with God, and God will bless you. All your plan. Let us read on. He said, Ask the Lord to bless your plan. That is it. That is your first prayer. If you are making a plan, oh Lord, bless my plan this year. Remember, let your plan be of a good motive. He said, Then you will be successful in carrying them out. You will be successful in that plan. God will bless your plan and i pray for someone that is watching me right now that god will bless your plan all your plan that you have since maybe 2000 from 2022 from january to december 
It seems that that plan has not come to reality. But let me tell you, this is your year. It's your year to smile. It's your year that God will comfort. You will live a comfortable year. You will live a, comfort, a comfortable time. But let God bless all your plans. And that will be your portion in Jesus' precious name. Amen. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 20, uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, is a popular verse that says you must seek the kingdom of God first and his righteousness. He says every other thing that you need, he says, then you will have them. Then in another version I have here says, instead be consigned about be consigned above everything else with the kingdom of God and with what he requires of you. And he will provide you with all this, with all this and every other thing. Listen, with every other thing. But what you need to do first is to seek the kingdom of God. Seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Live well. Let the life you live, let it please God. Let the life you live, let it please God. I will not say let it please man because you cannot do enough to please man. But we can do a little thing like this to please God. As long as the life we live is pleasing God, live over every other thing for God. And God will bless you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Brethren, I have another year. Uh, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 7, he said, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Brethren, do not fear. Don't live a life of fear. Instead, trust the Lord with all your heart. And he said, never rely or never trust in what you think is right or what you think you know. Don't depend on those things that you think you know. Don't depend on those things that you think is right. Let God speak for you. Hallelujah. And he said, remember the Lord in everything you do. Remember the Lord in everything you do. Do not do the things of your own. Do not just do because you want to do. Do not think, don't do things because people say that that is what is right. Listen, do what is right and God will help you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. And he said, he will show you the right way to go. Do not be afraid. Please, don't let your desire go. Don't seek anything uh, from God through fear. Fear is a torment that torments people. Fear destroyed, just as I said earlier. Do not desire anything from God through fear. And he said, never let yourself think that you are wiser than you are don't think that you are wiser don't think that you know what you are doing some of us we think sometimes we know what we are doing but let god think for you go to god trust god and god will make a way where there is to be no way for you and your family in jesus precious name this are what these are the things of uh, some of the things we need this year 2023 and he said simply obey obedience is required of us to carry out our plan obedience listen to the voice of god obedience is required for us and he said obey the lord and refuse to do wrong go away from sin run from sin remember Joseph ran away from sin. If not that Joseph ran away from sin, you see that the generation of Joseph today would have been away from bad things. Let God lead you and God will bless you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Psalm 20 verse 4 and 5 says, May he give you what you desire. Is somebody saying amen? I am saying amen. May God give you what you desire in this year, 2023. Amen. And make all your plans succeed. God will make all your plans succeed this year, 2023, in Jesus' precious name. Then we will shout for joy over your victory. Many nations will 
come and shout for joy over your victory, brethren. Do not worry. Many people will come and shout for joy over my own victory. In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. And celebrate your triumph by praising our God. May the Lord answer all your requests. Is somebody saying amen? I say amen to it. God will answer all my requests this year, 2023, in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Brethren, this is the part one of this topic. And note, today I really emphasize on faith. Next, we will emphasize, I will talk about fear. What is fear going to do if you are living a life of fear? It is time you take it up right now because fear is a torment. It will destroy you. It will not build you. But faith will build you. Faith will give you those things that you have been asking God for for so long. God bless you for joining me today. And this is the end of, the, of this today topic. God bless you. I pray this is one of the weapons faith. Don't let it fall away from your hand. God bless you for joining me. Take care. Bye.